Okay, so our next step is to give each one of these each one of these sprites our scripts or commands. And oh, be, while I'm still here, remember you want to name your sprites. I, I, I don't want to emphasize that because if you don't name your sprites, they're going to be sprite one, sprite two, sprite three, and you're going to lose track of which one is which. It's much easier to actually give them real names. And if you look up here, uh, when I change things, if I click on ball, you can see right here that it is a. It says it right up here, so you know exactly which which field you're in when you're doing the scripts. So I'm going to click on paddle, and the first script that we're going to go to is in the control menu. So I'm going to click on control, and we're going to select when clicked, and move that over. Okay. Now remember, when clicked is for when you go to the uh, green flag here, and you click on the green flag. The green flag is kind of like the on button. And so when you ever click on the green flag, and you have this script, it's going to turn on whatever it is that you want to be working as soon as that flag is clicked. And we want something to be on and on forever, so we're going to drag forever up here. So as long as the game is running, this is going to be on. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to motion, because what we're going to do is we're going to talk about our, uh, our paddle right here. Okay, and we, we can move the paddle to sort of a good place right there. We can leave the you lose thing alone and the ball will just leave up here for right now. But we want to be able to move the paddle back and forth. Now, remember that this game works, this, this program and uh, all gaming programs work in the same uh, way that uh, a coordinate plane works. Uh, you have in a coordinate plane, you have an X and a Y. And if you remember from your math lesson, this is the x of the coordinate plane, everything on this going th these two directions, and the y is everything going in these two directions, up and down. So we're interested in going this way, so back and forth. That's what our paddle's going to do. No. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to motion, and we're going to click and move set x to click and drag that up there into the forever so it's inside forever so we want this to be set to click on sensing right here and mouse x all right and what that means is that the x movement is going to be controlled by the mouse and only the mouse going along the x part of the coordinate plane. So let's try that out. We're going to click on the green flag. And if you notice, back and forth, I can move the mouse back and forth along the X, uh, I don't know what the word is, but uh, the X of the coordinate plane. But if I move up and down on the Y, it doesn't do anything to the mouse. So the, mou uh, so, so the paddle, I should say, the paddle only goes left to right. It does not go up and down, unless, of course, you add something else to it. But we're not going to do that today. So. Now we have the paddle under control.